Integrated healthcare refers to all parts of the system actively working together. There are various relationships the patient develops during the recovery process. That is to say, doctor with physio, etc. They are already working together indirectly via the patient. Introducing a direct link of communication with one another makes it possible to build a program that is the most effective and efficient for the patient. Each is given a clearer understanding of the other's perspective and intentions in using the methods that they do. This puts the patient on a path to recovery with the least resistance. Overall, it helps the medical professionals provide the best care possible. By getting everyone on the same page, we prevent conflicting opinions and approaches and ensure that all methods used are working to support one another. It also holds the medical professionals accountable by reducing bias. Being in any sort of team or group activity, this is inevitable. It opens dialogue. When working with others, our opinions are often confronted and we must release the subjective perspective we have for a more objective truth. This is important, especially in healthcare, because the goal is to heal. Yes, we are here to prevent injury and disease, but also when necessary to cure illness. For any situation in which an issue needs solving, and I mean a real solution, not just a short-term treatment of symptoms, the truth is the only way. That is why reducing bias is key. What this does is it allows for growth within the system itself by holding the professionals to a higher standard in their day-to-day -day interactions with patients. So with transparency promoting trust, both within the team providing the care and with the patient, we are able to reduce the situations in which a patient feels taken advantage of, exploited, and or disappointed with the quality of care within the system. Again, giving them the best care possible. Not only is it effective, but it is also efficient. Having direct access to other members of the team allows for quicker treatment. As a medical professional, I will say that medical professionals tend to have busy schedules. This is because as people, even though we know our health is a priority, for it is the foundation from which we do all our other activities, we live in a world where that is not always evident in our lifestyles, both in our daily routines and society in general. This leads to a lot of people needing medical attention. So yes, accessible healthcare is highly valued in our world. And because the demand is so high, people are often waiting before getting the help they need from the low supply medical professionals providing the services. Whether that be low staff or lack of government funding or whatever. And even those people, like any other people, are balancing work and personal life. So how do we speed up the process for the patient and simultaneously help the medical professionals reach more people? Through the power of collaboration. When working with multiple specialists under one roof, each can cover the weaknesses of the other ones. With specific roles that are valued by the team, there is less pressure for competition. This helps people to feel empowered when their contribution is recognized. We are all able to do what we do well and rest assured knowing that whatever else needs to be done is also being done well. Here at Human 2.0, we currently have a doctor, physio, trainer, etc. Though we have been focused on movement mobility and whatever team members are required to facilitate that, this could expand to include many other roles, such as mental health workers, nutritionists, architects, etc. Essentially, anyone with insight that can contribute to healthy living is welcome. However, for the sake of this video, a practical example of how we apply this at our gym is this. If I recently operated on someone's knee, they'll literally be working through the rehab with a physio that I have a direct line of communication with. We can come up with a personalized plan and adapt it as needed in accordance with the patient's progress. Overall, an integrated approach provides the patient with the most well-rounded and current treatment plan. It keeps the medical team more readily available to them and to each other. Because of this access, the patient is involved and supported every step of the way. The reason why integrated healthcare is able to do this so effectively is because the recovery of the patient is forefront. All parties are unified under a shared purpose. Therefore, health comes first. Let's take a moment to discuss what health is. Harmony is essential for health. The health of any system depends on all parts working together harmoniously. This is achieved because they have a common goal. Think of any interconnected network. There are many parts connected as one. Life is one, and within life, you will see that same idea everywhere. In fact, we as living beings are an interconnected network. So are our relationships, our communities, our countries, our planet, and so on. From the microcosm to the macrocosm. 
our bodies, the various systems within our bodies, cells working together to create tissues, tissues working together to create organs, organs working together and so forth. And they all do so naturally to keep you alive. They do so willingly because that is their purpose. If you think of the health of the body, it wouldn't make sense that any part of its own volition would be in conflict with another. That would be like you punching yourself in the face. Not only is health the natural state of any interconnected network, but health itself is all parts working together harmoniously. At Human 2.0, we believe that health is our natural state and want to help humans return to that understanding, which is why the integrated system is our chosen business model, because it reflects health at its core. Now let's take a moment to talk about the healthcare system. The point is to have an effective healthcare system that can truly help us be healthy. If the health of the patient is the goal and the healthcare system is to facilitate that, it only makes sense that the system itself is healthy. An integrated system is simply the healthcare system done the healthy way. In fact, it is healthcare. Success is only achievable with an effective system. What is success in terms of the healthcare system? Effective treatment that ultimately leads to the health of the patient being realized, freeing them to live a healthy life rather than needing to be repeatedly healed. A lot of people are concerned about accessibility. We understand and we firmly believe that prevention is the best medicine, which is why it's so important for us to help educate people on how to live healthily. As a doctor, the Hippocratic Oath emphasizes the prevention over cure. Our goal is to provide the most effective treatment while also providing the patient with insight that they can carry into their daily lives. Which is why having an integrated team to cater to all aspects of the process works well. So, the only way for health to transfer from the providers of treatment, that is to say medical professionals, to the receivers, patients, is if the providers are themselves healthy. I've mentioned that the health of the system depends on all parts working together and it is natural for them to do so as they share a unified purpose, which is the success of the system. Therefore, the health of healthcare as a system is when it is integrated. It makes sense in theory, sure, but can we put it into practice? We're only human, right? This may actually be exactly why it's possible. I should start by saying, before anything else, we are living beings. Integration is in our makeup. Now, let's think about humans for a moment. What is a human? As humans, the evolution of us as a species owes thanks to integration. Our capacity for higher reasoning and our ability to reflect upon our health drove us to improve our way of life and therefore extend it. Our resourcefulness and inventiveness resulted in us cultivating a fruitful relationship with our environment. Our ability to collaborate with others effectively led us being able to accomplish more together than we could ever do alone. The success of our species was due to us living as integrated systems ourselves and living within an integrated system. This is evident in every interaction we have in life and as humans. Our awareness of this has continuously allowed us to maximize its effectiveness. If you think of the term humane, being humane, it refers to honoring the fact that we are sharing this experience, this opportunity to live. It is a respect for life, a respect for all living beings. It's acknowledging our connection and extending empathy. Being human is being humane. In our development as a species, we were able to shift the paradigm from fighting for survival to collaborating for survival. We have refined our abilities to live in collaboration with one another. By using our capacity for higher reasoning and our collaborative nature, we were able to survive in a more effective way than other species who may be physically stronger than us. Our entire world is predicated on the possibility of working together and accepting other beings in our space. Humans have the ability to think this because we have learned to tolerate others. Civilization is based on our ability to be civil. As humans, we are civilized. Therefore, it is natural for us humans to work together. It is in who we are. It is what has allowed us to thrive. Integration is in who we are, and the more we can actively acknowledge that, the more effective a system we will be. Since the healthcare system is just a system made up of humans, and if everything about who we are as humans is built upon integration, it is only natural our system reflects integration. This is why it is because we are human that we are able to embrace such a system.